what's this I, i'm back already after my nice emotional video from yesterday no obviously i'm not back yet um i'm just doing voiceover for this video because i have absolutely nothing set up but i still had my microphone plugged in to my computer and obviously i needed to talk about this a lot of people are talking about this i'm probably late to the party as i'm uploading this on saturday but hey better late than never right well obviously the big news that's circulating the big talk of the town is the nintendo switch online expansion pack we have a release date for the expansion pack we have pricing for it we have a trailer the controllers went up for pre-order spoiler alert the controllers are already sold out they sold out in literally minutes um nintendo did say that there would be updates throughout the month uh towards the end of the month they're gonna have a restock of the controllers the n64 controller does have vibration built into it though so i kind of want that but obviously there was a lot of big news yesterday so animal crossing had their little animal crossing direct and within the animal crossing direct they announced the happy home paradise dlc for animal crossing now i didn't really follow on this or anything like that i saw there's gonna be like island stuff with it you know i never got into animal crossing on the switch my animal crossing days were back on the nintendo ds and uh i really enjoyed the game during that time frame but i felt like i've pretty much done everything you can do and like seeing everything you can see in that game so it was kind of just pointless for me to get the animal crossing on the switch because they didn't really change up all that much but this dlc actually makes it pretty expansive there's also going to be like new emotions you can do new villagers all sorts of fun stuff but at the end of this presentation they actually said the pricing for this i but they announced that this DLC pack will be available to purchase separately or it comes with the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. So not only are you getting two new consoles with this, you're also getting this DLC. So I was like, huh, that's pretty interesting. That's sort of an avenue that we're going to talk about in this video as far as future stuff is concerned. And they announced the price, $50 a year. Now, $50 a year isn't a lot of money. I mean, let's be realistic here. If $50 is make or break for you, uh, you know, focus on other things. Don't worry about video games. Get your paper up and then you can sort of consider this. But when I saw the $50 price point, I was definitely taken aback by it because I don't really think anyone thought it was going to be that expensive. Now, the service will be going live on October 25th. So at the end of the month. And if you have a family plan, it's actually going up to $79.99 or $80. But the thing about a family plan is, essentially you could just get a couple buddies together you know you could do up to eight people you could split that eight ways so that it's only ten dollars a pop so that makes it a little bit better but then you have to sort of coordinate with everyone i don't know i haven't really gone down that avenue but fifty dollars fifty dollars to play some n64 sega genesis and now animal crossing now the animal crossing dlc will be available on november 5th but i think the animal crossing dlc is probably the most interesting thing about this equation because is that why the expansion pack was so much? Is that why the expansion pack is a $50 a year thing? Now you might be saying to yourself, well, you know, Xbox and PlayStation's online stuff are similarly priced. There's also other things you can add to the service to get more money. But even if you just look at the base of Xbox and PlayStation, like you're still getting free games every month. Now, the quality of these games is definitely up to personal judgment, but still they're newer games or games from like the last generation of console. So it's a lot easier for people to digest that. Whereas with this, you're not getting any Nintendo Switch games. You're getting Nintendo Switch DLC with Animal crossing the nintendo 64 and the sega genesis but my question is is the reason for the price being 50 dollars because of the animal crossing dlc if that's the case then they just need to have another tier you have your base tier at 20 dollars you have your uh n64 and genesis tier along with the other things that you have for 30 dollars and then of course you could have the dlc pack for the 50 dollars but is the DLC pack gonna have more DLCs? Because I think that's a very interesting avenue. With Nintendo sort of incorporating this Animal Crossing DLC directly into the expansion pack, they're kind of setting a precedent with this that, hey, you know, there's the potential for future DLCs of first party Nintendo titles to be included with this service. And if that's the case, if they come out and say that, then that's sort of a different ball game, I feel, because a lot of us will pick up, you know, DLC for popular games. You know, Breath of the Wild 2 comes out and they have some DLC planned for it down the road. If I could get that for free with the expansion pack, that makes it a little bit easier. If you go into even the back catalog of Nintendo Switch games and add in DLC to even like Super Mario Odyssey or something like that, 
and you include this DLC within the expansion pack, I think it makes it a little bit easier to swallow as far as the price point is concerned. But as it stands now, if you don't care about Animal Crossing, which I don't care about Animal Crossing, this just seems like a gross overpricing by Nintendo. So how can Nintendo really sort of rectify this and change things up and make it better in the eyes of gamers? Because a lot of people are upset and you go to Twitter, I'm sure there's a million videos out of people raging at their computers about this pricing. Even the Nintendo official trailer for this over on YouTube has, well, quite a few downvotes on it. So what can Nintendo do to remedy this situation? Should they go in and change the price? I, I don't really see them going in and changing the price or anything like that. I just think you need to add more. If you're adding in things like Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Okay, now we're talking about a whole plethora of systems that you're including in here. If we add in more DLC, okay, now we're talking about, you know, more DLC for upcoming games and previous games that you don't have to pay for because it's included in the expansion pack. Hell, maybe even throw in some free games with that or something like that. I mean, obviously games like Tetris 99 and Super Mario Bros. 35 were included for free with the base Nintendo Switch Online service. Why not have some games you know older games potentially included in the expansion pack that you get for free I'm not asking for you know five games a month or something like that but I don't think it's outside of the realm of possibility or unreasonable to ask for at least something more because that's really the problem with this we've been wanting something more from the Nintendo switch online service it's something I've been talking about literally for years themes messaging voice chat native voice chat built into it without the stupid cell phone but instead of doing that Nintendo's kind of doing other things and just vastly increasing the price of it and I feel like for a lot of people they're, they're not gonna get on board with this you know I don't think that many people will sign up for the expansion pack on day one unless there's more hidden stuff to it unless there's more revelations coming with this such as the aforementioned potential for free DLC and free games but if that's going to be the case Nintendo needs to talk about that like it's very simple to say we're adding in the N64 and Sega Genesis with more consoles to come we're adding in Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise DLC in the expansion pack with potential for more more DLC to come it, it, it's a very simple thing I don't understand why Nintendo decided to do it this way I don't understand why Nintendo is is doing it this way because it's a bad look especially when you compare it to other online services that you have when it comes to console gaming but of course there's gonna be people that are complete apologetics for Nintendo and say oh no this is fine there's absolutely no problem with it and I mean I, I kind of maybe understand that but it's okay to question it as well it's okay to be like you know what this seems a little bit high because at the end of the day this service doesn't work unless we're spending money now completely honest with you guys I obviously am gonna get the stupid expansion pack because I want to play those n64 games and I obviously want to show you guys the emulation use for these N64 games but you see a lot of people talking about you know this is Nintendo sort of gatekeeping their back catalog of games and they're charging you a pretty high price for it when they realistically could just you know do a Netflix service and have all the emulators built in and then just have the games come out for a variety of platforms so I, I don't know it, it's it's not ideal you know I don't think it's the end of the world I don't think it's the worst thing ever but I definitely don't think it's the best thing ever I, I'm kind of indifferent towards it and I'm kind of disappointed that we went to this high price point so let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below I'm sure there is lots of discussion about this and there's going to be lots of differentiating opinions and things of that nature and as always guys thank you for checking out this video I'm currently filming this in a pretty boxed up empty place right now uh, just with my microphone sitting in a room so apologies for the shitty editing more shittier than normal but I'll be back um, next week by the middle of next week I should definitely be back so make sure you check out the video from yesterday and as always I will catch you guys on the next video later